why the LA Chargers will have an elite defense this upcoming NFL season. I want to give a special shout out to the sponsor of this video, Manscaped. So Manscaped recently just launched their Lawnmower 4.0. And listen, if you are a guy who does a lot of shaving underneath, the Lawnmower 4.0 is the perfect tool for you because listen, my first time shaving a couple of months ago went terrible. I had a bunch of scrapes, I had a bunch of bruises, and I also had patches because I didn't even finish the job. So when Manscaped sent me the Lawnmower 4.0, I used it, and I was a little bit scared, okay? Because I was like, you know, I ain't trying to give myself patches and give myself injuries like I did last time, my first time shaving. But when I used the Lawnmower 4.0, let me tell you guys something. It was a easy process I had no scrapes no bruises it was no pain listen if you're a guy who does a lot of shaving underneath make sure that you guys go ahead and cop the lawnmower 4.0 using my promo code JT for 20% off plus free shipping off your manscape purchase once again make sure that you guys use promo code JT for 20% off your purchase plus free shipping your balls will thank you so at the start of this year's offseason, the Chargers hired former Rams defensive coordinator Brandon Staley. Now, Brandon Staley, in one year as DC for the Rams, turned around their defense. Before Brandon Staley got there in 2019, the Rams defense was 14th in the NFL in yards per game allowed. They allowed 22.8 points per game, which was 17th in the NFL. They were 12th in pass yards per game allowed and 4th in rushing yards per game allowed. That was 2019 under Wade Phillips. When Brandon Staley took over the reins as DC for the Rams this past NFL season in 2020, they were number one in yards per game allowed. They were second in points per game allowed with 19.3. They had the best pass defense in the NFL, and they were fourth in rushing yards per game allowed. Like, Brandon Staley took a average defense to elite defense in only one year. So imagine what he's going to do with the LA Chargers defense this season. Now, the Chargers defense was not as bad as what a lot of people make it out to be. Like a lot of people felt the Chargers defense was horrible because they allow, you know, teams to come back within the last minute and things like that. And they gave up so many late minute leads at the last minute after Justin Herbert carried the team on his back, got the Chargers in a situation to win the game just for the defense to give it up, you know, within, you know, a minute or two. So for Brandon Staley, He's taking over a defense that has a lot of talent. Like, he's a defensive-minded coach that isn't walking into a situation like Robert Sala is with the New York Jets. Like, Robert Sala is going to a situation with the New York Jets that he pretty much doesn't really have a lot of talent on the defense side of the ball to work with. Brandon Staley is taking over a Chargers team that has one of the most talented defenses in the NFL. Okay, like, you got Duran James, who didn't even play all of last year. He missed all of last year due to injury. Then you got free safety the zero Adelie, who I'm really high on. I think he's going to have a really good season this year in 2021. You got cornerback Michael Davis, who I never really heard of this guy. I know a lot of people don't know of this guy neither. If you're a Chargers fan, you probably know of Michael Davis, but he had three interceptions and 14 pass deflections. Like, I didn't hear of Michael Davis until I was researching information for this video. Like, Michael Davis is probably going to be a household name by the end of 2021. Like, I think he reminds me a lot of Chris Harris Jr. Like, when Chris Harris Jr. first came into the league, he went like four or five years without allowing a single touchdown. And nobody really knew how good he was until, you know, the, loud, the like the second half of his career with the Denver Broncos when Chris Harris started to get recognized by the majority of the NFL world. So I think that Michael Davis is going to end up becoming a top five, top ten cornerback by the end of this year. You also have rookie cornerback Asante Samuel Jr., who is the son of Asante Samuel. He was drafted in the second round out of Florida State in this past year's NFL draft and I think that Asante Samuel Jr. is probably going to be in the running for a defensive rookie of the year like I love Asante Samuel like a lot of people think that Asante Samuel Jr. is just a pure slot corner because of his size he's like 5'10 like 180 something pounds but don't let his size fool you like this guy is physical he's not afraid to make a tackle he's not afraid to get his hands dirty like Asante Samuel Jr. is going to be a really good player for this LA Chargers defense and Brandon Staley's defense then you got Chris Harris Jr. who missed seven games last year he's going to be their slot corner he's not what he used to be but 
but he's still pretty solid. Then you got a linebacker, Kenneth Murray, who had 107 tackles last year. He broke the Chargers rookie record for most tackles in the season for a rookie. He also had three pass deflections. You got Drew Tranquil, who was injured the majority of 2020. He had a good rookie season in 2019, so a lot of Chargers fans have high expectations for them for him. You also have Kazir White. Now it's rusher. Okay, you got Nwosu who had four and a half sacks. I feel like he could be in for a breakout season. I feel like he could have eight, nine sacks this year. I feel like Gus Bradley really held back Nwosu because he wasn't really a starter. He was more of a rotational player. So with him being a full-time starter this year for the Chargers, hopefully, I think he's going to end up having a eight, nine sack season. Then you got Kyle Frackle, who they got from the New York Giants. He had four sacks last year with the G-Men. Then you got rookie pass rusher out of Duke Chris Runf who has a lot of potential like he's kind of long and lanky but he has a good amount of potential you know good amount of athleticism has you know long long arms like he's like a long lanky football player he's kind of like a basketball um player he reminds me a little bit of a power forward but Chris Runf has a lot of potential if Brandon Staley can tap into it, you're going to get a guy who should be a really good pass rusher. So you got Joey Bowles, who had seven and a half sacks last year. He missed a couple of games with injuries. You got Jerry Tillery there. You still got Linville Joseph, who is one of the best run stoppers in the NFL still. He's not really that much of a threat when it comes to being able to get pressure on the quarterback. You will hope that he has more production than what he had last year when it comes to, you know, getting pressure on the quarterback. But overall, you still have a really good deep to line. Linville Joseph improved the LA Rams run defense, which in 2019 wasn't all that great. So for Brandon Staley, he has a pretty talented team. And I'm expecting him to take this team to the playoffs this year. Like, I think the Chargers should make it to the playoffs this year. Now that you have a guy, Brandon Staley, who's going to have the defense side of the football taken care of. Like, the Chargers should have an elite defense. Like, you look at the jump that the Rams made, and under one year as... Deep to according to Brandon Staley being there, I think that Brandon Staley for the head coach of the Chargers is going to do phenomenal things with this defense because this defense just has so much talent that just went to waste last year with all the blown leads that they gave up and things like that. Like it was really unacceptable really unacceptable like the Chargers defense last year just had too much talent even without Darren James even without Chris Harris to perform the way they did and, you know if you look at it stats wise they were 10th in yards per game allowed they were 23rd in points per game given up with 26.6 doing ninth in pass yards per game allowed and when it came to stop the run they were pretty much in the middle of the pack 17th in run defense so under Brandon Staley this defense is going to become an elite defense sooner rather than later and if this defense ends up becoming an elite defensive unit then you most definitely can expect the Chargers not only to make it to the playoffs but they also could give the Kansas City Chiefs a run for their money and when you look at this Kansas City Chiefs team that offense is going to be you know the best offense that Kansas City has ever had with how good that offensive line is you still got Mahomes there you got Andy Reid there like that's going to be an explosive offense also the Las Vegas Raiders offense is also going to be something to watch and Denver's offense could be a little bit you know of a sneaky good offense depending if they can get that quarterback situation figured out between Teddy Bridgewater and Drew Locke so the Chargers could end up having the best defense in the AFC West when the 2021 season concludes because of how good of a deep to mind Brandon Staley is because think about what he did in only one year as defensive coordinator for the Rams like he took uh average to slightly above average defense to an elite defense in only one year normally it takes a coach like two years to make that turnaround so for Brandon Staley I have high expectations for him I believe that the Chargers will have a elite defense this year let me know how good you guys feel like the Chargers defense will be this upcoming NFL season in 2021 make sure that you guys like the video subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content and thanks for watching